Dana Carvey, actor of Wayne's World, disclosed that his son Dex Carvey, 32, passed away at the age of 32 after accidentally overdosing on drugs. The 68-year-old former cast member of Saturday Night Live and his spouse Paula posted a devastating statement on Instagram on Thursday, stating, Last night we suffered a terrible tragedy. Dex, our cherished son, passed away from an unintentional drug overdose. His age was 32. Dex accomplished a lot in those 32 years. He was incredibly gifted in a variety of areas, including comedy, filmmaking, music, and art, and he pursued them all with fur. The couple went on. Dex loved his friends, family, and girlfriend Kaylee beyond anything else. Dex was a lovely individual. His original birthday cards are priceless. He will always be missed. Thomas, 30, is a child of Dana and Paula, who celebrated their 40th wedding anniversary earlier this year. To anyone struggling with addiction, or who loves someone struggling with addiction, you are in our hearts and prayers, the statement said in its conclusion. Carvey posted two pictures of Dex to Twitter on Thursday amid reports of his passing. In one of the photos, he wrote, Dex and I are working together. I am really happy. Dex passed away at his Los Angeles home on Wednesday night when his girlfriend was calling for help at around 10 o'clock in the evening. Police sources told TMZ on Thursday. Law enforcement informed the outlet that Dex was locked in a bathroom and was unresponsive upon discovery. Paramedics reportedly tried to resuscitate Dex, but he was later pronounced dead on the scene, according to police sources who spoke to TMZ. Although Dex's autopsy has been completed, the cause of death has not yet been established by the authorities as they await the findings of toxicological tests. Dexter had a history in show business. In 2016, while filming his Netflix special Straight White Mala, he opened for his father as a comedian. According to MDB, Dex had also starred in a variety of films and television shows, including the 2014 miniseries Beyond the Comics, the 2013 miniseries The Funsta, the 2016 short film Carpool Pandering, and the 2016 picture Joe Dirt 2, Beautiful Loser. Alongside his comedy-loving brother Thomas, he has also performed on stage. Dana was a cast member of Saturday Night Live on NBC from 1986 to 1993 and his work there is what made him most famous. In his last year on the show, he won a primetime Emmy for Outstanding Individual Performance in a Variety or Music Program. Since then, he has hosted the program several times. During his time on the show, he portrayed a number of prominent recurring characters, including Hans, Garf Algar, and the Church Lady. He was also praised for his remarkable impressions, the most well-known of which being that of the late President George H.W. Bush. Alongside Mike Myers, Dana portrayed Garth in the popular 1992 SNL spin-off film Wayne's World and its 1993 follow-up. In 2021, the actors returned to the well-known roles for an Uber Eats Super Bowl commercial. Dana has also appeared in films, including Opportunity Knox, 1990, Clean Slate, 1994, and Trapped in Paradise, 1994. He voiced the character of Senator Cartwright Lamar in the animated Netflix series Mulligan's Year. In the wake of the unfortunate incident, several of Carvey's friends and colleagues expressed their condolences to the family in the comment thread on his Instagram account. Chris Catton, an SNL alum, tweeted, What terrible news! I'm so very sorry for your loss, exclaimed SNL veteran Keenan Thompson. Oh my God, I apologize sincerely. Daryl Hammond of Saturday Night Live apologized to his pal. I send my sympathies to you and Paula. No way, comedian Mike Falzoni exclaimed. Comet Brian Monarch apologized profusely, saying, I'm so sorry, Dan. My sympathies to you and your loved ones. Comedian Tim Dillon expressed his condolences for Dana's death. He was an amazing child. Dana, Paula, and Tom, we are so sorry for this devastating loss, wrote actress Susan Yeagley in a letter. I'm totally loving all of you.